And welcome back to the Factor on Sensor. There are a lot of people out there who still simply do not believe in the COVID-19 vaccine or wearing a face covering. So what are some of the alternatives to keep those people protected and safe? That's our goal here on the Factor on Sensor. So we talked to an expert about that. You can simply pop a pill tonight. Take a look. And joining us now here on the Factor Uncensored is Dr. Anjanette Wyatt. She's the CEO of Clinical Care Pharmacy. Glad to have you on the Factor Uncensored. Dr. Wyatt, we know we've been struggling, we've been pushing, we've been fighting with people who refuse to accept the vaccine. So we wanna keep them alive and we wanna come up with alternatives that at least will keep and build up their immune system. So what are some options out there for those who are still hesitant and, and want to do more research? I don't know what hell research they're looking for, but <laughs> what can we tell them as far as building their immune system to keep them healthy and alive? Well, there are quite a few uh, vitamins out there that they can supplement and take to boost their immune system. Uh, what we want is to get the immune system kind of ready for battle. And um, the over, some of the over-the-counter medications can do th just that. And uh, a lot of them out there um, have to be taken daily to make sure you increase that uh, probability and possibility of if you are exposed to COVID that you're able, your body's able to fight it. Now let's take a look at some examples of some of the vitamins that are out there and supplements that we should be taking in order to uh, bolster our immune system. Well, the first, um, I have a few here. I'm not endorsing any of these uh, brands, but definitely vitamin C. You wanna take vitamin C. Um, so vitamin C boosts the immune system in, and we all know that, but having it on board um, during the pandemic is really, really important. Um, Pretty much you can get the 500 milligrams and take it uh, twice a day for 1,000 milligrams. Um, I do a little more, even though it's recommended 1,000 at maximum 1,000, but just make sure you have at least 1,000 milligram on board daily for vitamin C. Then of course, even in the hospital, they give zinc. Zinc is very important for the body. It enhances the vitamin C and make it even higher in terms of immunity. Um, we also have a multivitamin. I take this one, but a multivitamin. Everyone needs a multivitamin that have the old school one a day. Remember that? <laughs> one a day. The old school one a day. Go back to old school. OG works here. <laughs> and then um, you want the mo one of the most important ones you want is D. Because D actually, there are studies out there that show that, um, especially for those of color, uh, individuals of color, it shows that if you increase the level of D in your body to the a, a large dose, well over 40, then then you will have less likely, there's less likelihood of you testing positive for COVID. Now that's a huge, put di vitamin D, this is 10,000 um, international units. A lot of times on, on the shelf, you'll see 1,000, 2,000, but you can order this if you don't see it at your, your local um, store. It is 10,000. Let me put it right there. 10,000 international units, one a day. Damn, 10,000. <laughs> well, let me tell you this. When, when you get a prescription, when we get prescriptions for vitamin D deficient patients, it's yeah. 80,000 a week. So it's okay to take that much vitamin D. And for those who have dark color skin, they need that to, to fight COVID. <laughs> And a few others Dr. Wyatt is recommending, so make sure you write these down. Turmeric and ginger, vitamin B, vitamin E, and omega fish oils can all help you with your immune system and keeping it strong. No matter what, just try to stay safe out there, folks.